Sports, also known as billiard sports, are a wide variety of games of skill generally played with a cue stick, which is used to strike billiard balls and thereby cause them to move around a cloth-covered billiards table bounded by elastic bumpers known as cushions. Interior view of Billiard Hall, Toledo, Ohio Historically, the umbrella term was billiards. While that familiar name is still employed by some as a generic label for all such games, the word's usage has splintered into more exclusive competing meanings in various parts of the world. For example, in British and Australian English, billiards usually refers exclusively to the game of English billiards, while in American and Canadian English it is sometimes used to refer to a particular game or class of games or to all cue games in general, depending upon dialect and context. In colloquial usage, the term billiards may be used to refer to games such as pool, snooker, or Russian pyramid. There are three major subdivisions of games within cue sports, there are other variants that make use of obstacles and targets, and tabletop games played with discs instead of balls. Billiards has a long and rich history stretching from its inception in the 15th century, to the wrapping of the body of Mary, Queen of Scots, in her billiard table cover in 1586, through its many mentions in the works of Shakespeare, including the famous line Let's to Billiards in Antony and Cleopatra, and through the many famous enthusiasts of the sport such as, Mozart, Louis XIV of France, Marie Antoinette, Immanuel Kant, Napoleon, Abraham Lincoln, Mark Twain, George Washington, French President Jules Grevy, Charles Dickens, George Armstrong Custer, Theodore Roosevelt, Lewis Carroll, W. C. Fields, Babe Ruth, Bob Hope, and Jackie Gleason. Billiards in the 1620s was played with a port, a kingpin, pockets, and maces. All cue sports are generally regarded to have evolved into indoor games from outdoor stick and ball lawn games, specifically those retroactively termed ground billiards, and as such to be related to the historical games jeu de male and polymala. And modern truco, croquet, and golf, and more distantly to the stickless bocce and bowls. The word billiard may have evolved from the French word billard or billet, meaning stick, in reference to the mace, an implement similar to a golf putter, and which was the forerunner to the modern cue. However, the term's origin could have been from French bill, meaning ball. The modern term cue sports can be used to encompass the ancestral mace games, and even the modern cueless variants, such as finger billiards, for historical reasons. Cue itself came from cue, the French word for tail. This refers to the early practice of using the tail or butt of the mace, instead of its club foot, to strike the ball when it lay against a rail cushion. The Sons of Louis, Grand Dauphin, playing the royal game of fortifications, an early form of obstacle billiards with similarities to modern miniature golf a recognizable form of billiards was played outdoors in the 1340s, and was reminiscent of croquet. King Louis XI of France had the first known indoor billiard table. Louis XIV further refined and popularized the game, and it swiftly spread among the French nobility. While the game had long been played on the ground, this version appears to have died out in the 17th century, in favor of croquet, golf and bowling games, even as table billiards had grown in popularity as an indoor activity. The imprisoned Mary, Queen of Scots, complained when her table to billiard was taken away. Billiards grew to the extent that by 1727, it was being played in almost every Paris café. In England, the game was developing into a very popular activity for members of the gentry. By 1670, the thin butt end of the mace began to be used not only for shots under the cushion, but players increasingly preferred it for other shots as well. The footless, straight cue as it is known today was finally developed by about 1800. Initially, the mace was used to push the balls, rather than strike them. The newly developed striking cue provided a new challenge. Cushions began to be stuffed with substances to allow the balls to rebound, in order to enhance the appeal of the game. After a transitional period where only the better players would use cues, the cue came to be the first choice of equipment. The demand for tables and other equipment was initially met in Europe by John Thurston and other furniture makers of the era. The early balls were made from wood and clay, but the rich preferred to use ivory. Early billiard games involved various pieces of additional equipment, including the arch, port, and king in the early 17th to late 18th century. But other game variants, relying on the cushions, were being formed that would go on to play fundamental roles in the development of modern billiards. Illustration of a three-ball pocket billiards game in early 19th century Tübingen, Germany, using a table much longer than the modern type the early croquet-like. Games eventually led to the development of the carom or carambol billiards category, 
what most non-Commonwealth and non-US speakers mean by the word billiards. These games, which once completely dominated the Q sports world but have declined markedly in many areas over the last few generations, are games played with three or sometimes four balls, on a table without holes, in which the goal is generally to strike one object ball with a cue ball, then have the cue ball rebound off of one or more of the cushions and strike a second object ball. Variations include straight rail, balk line, one cushion, three cushion, five pins, and four ball, among others. One type of obstacle remained a feature of many tables, originally as a hazard and later as a target, in the form of pockets, or holes partly cut into the table bed and partly into the cushions. Leading to the rise of pocket billiards, including pool games such as 8-ball, 9-ball, straight pool, and one pocket, Russian pyramid, snooker, English billiards, and others. In the United States, pool and billiards had died out for a bit, but between 1878 and 1956 the games became very popular. Players in annual championships began to receive their own cigarette cards. This was mainly due to the fact that it was a popular pastime for troops to take their minds off from battle. However, by the end of World War II, pool and billiards began to die down once again. It was not until 1961 when the film The Hustler came out that sparked a new interest in the game. Now the game is generally a well-known game and has many players of all different skill levels. There are a few more cheerful sights, when the evenings are long and the weather dull, than a handsome, well-lighted billiard room, with a smooth green surface of the billiard table, the ivory balls flying noiselessly here and there, or clicking musically together. Charles Dickens Jr., the games with regulated international professional competition, if not others, have been referred to as sports or sporting events, not simply games, since 1893 at the latest. Quite a variety of particular games are the subject of present-day competition, including many of those already mentioned, with competition being especially broad in 9-ball, snooker, 3-cushion, and 8-ball. Snooker, though a pocket billiards variant and closely related in its equipment and origin to the game of English billiards, is a professional sport organized at an international level. And its rules bear little resemblance to those of modern pool, pyramid, and other such games. A billiards category encompassing pool, snooker and carom was featured in the 2005 World Games, held in Duisburg, Germany, and the 2006 Asian Games also introduced a Q sports category. Q balls from left to right, Billiard balls vary from game to game, in size, design and quantity. Russian Pyramid and Kaisa have a size of 68 mm. In Russian Pyramid there are 16 balls, as in pool but 15 are white and numbered, and the cue ball is usually red. In Kaisa, 5 balls are used, the yellow object ball, 2 red object balls, and the 2 white cue balls. Karam Billiards balls are larger than pool balls, having a diameter of 61. 5 mm, and come as a set of two cue balls and an object ball. Standard pool balls are 57. 15 mm, are used in many pool games found throughout the world, come in sets of two suits of object balls, seven solids and seven stripes. An eight ball and a cue ball, the balls are racked differently for different games. Black ball sets are similar, but have unmarked groups of red and yellow balls instead of solids and stripes, known as casino style. They are used principally in Britain, Ireland, and some Commonwealth countries, though not exclusively, since they are unsuited for playing 9-ball. The diameter varies but is typically slightly smaller than that of standard solids and stripe sets. Snooker balls are smaller than American-style pool balls with a diameter of 52. 5 mm and come in sets of 22. English billiard balls are the same size as snooker balls and come in sets of 3 balls. Other games, such as bumper pool, have custom ball sets. Billiard balls have been made from many different materials since the start of the game, including clay, bakelite, celluloid, crystallite, ivory, plastic, steel and wood. The dominant material from 1627 until the early 20th century was ivory. The search for a substitute for ivory use was not for environmental concerns, but based on economic motivation and fear of danger for elephant hunters. It was in part spurred on by a New York billiard table manufacturer who announced a prize of $10,000 for a substitute material. The first viable substitute was celluloid, invented by John Wesley Hyatt in 1868, but the material was volatile, sometimes exploding during manufacture, and was highly flammable. Pool table with equipment. Billiard tables at Bowling Corner and Billiard in Nurmiervi, Finland There are many sizes and styles of billiard tables. Generally, 
tables are rectangles twice as long as they are wide. Table sizes are typically referred to by the nominal length of their longer dimension. Full-size snooker tables are 12 feet long. Carom billiards tables are typically 10 feet. Regulation pool tables are 9 foot, though pubs and other establishments catering to casual play will typically use 7-foot tables which are often coin-operated, nicknamed bar boxes. Formerly, 10-foot pool tables were common, but such tables are now considered antiques. High-quality tables have a bed made of thick slate, in three pieces to prevent warping and changes due to temperature and humidity. The slates on modern carom tables are usually heated to stave off moisture and provide a consistent playing surface. Smaller bar tables are most commonly made with a single piece of slate. Pocket billiards tables of all types normally have six pockets, three on each side. Women playing on an elaborately decorated green covered table in an early 1880s advertising poster. All types of tables are covered with billiard cloth. Cloth has been used to cover billiards tables since the 15th century. Bar or tavern tables, which get a lot of play, use slower, more durable cloth. The cloth used in upscale pool halls and home billiard rooms is faster, and competition quality pool cloth is made from 100% worsted wool. Snooker cloth traditionally has a nap and balls behave differently when rolling against versus along with the nap. The cloth of the billiard table has traditionally been green, reflecting its origin, and has been so colored since at least the 16th century, but it is also produced in other colors such as red and blue. Television broadcasting of pool as well as three cushion billiards prefers a blue colored cloth which was chosen for better visibility and contrast against colored balls. Aluminium billiard rack that is used for 8-ball, 9-ball, and straight pool. A rack is the name given to a frame used to organize billiard balls at the beginning of a game. This is traditionally triangular in shape, but varies with the type of billiards played. There are two main types of racks, the more common triangular shape which is used for 8-ball and straight pool and the diamond-shaped rack used for 9-ball. There are several other types of less common rack types that are also used, based on a template to hold the billiard balls tightly together. Most commonly it is a thin plastic sheet with diamond-shaped cutouts that hold the balls that is placed on the table with the ball set on top of the rack. The rack is used to set up the break and removed once the break has been completed and no balls are obstructing the template. Billiards games are mostly played with a stick known as a cue. A cue is usually either a one-piece tapered stick or a two-piece stick divided in the middle by a joint of metal or phenolic resin. High-quality cues are generally two pieces and are made of a hardwood, generally maple for billiards and ash for snooker. The butt end of the cue is of larger circumference and is intended to be gripped by a player's hand. The shaft of the cue is of smaller circumference, usually tapering to an zero. Four to zero. 55 inches terminus called a ferrule, where a rounded leather tip is affixed, flush with the ferrule, to make final contact with balls. The tip, in conjunction with chalk, can be used to impart spin to the cue ball when it is not hit in its center. Cheap cues are generally made of pine, low-grade maple, or other low-quality wood, with inferior plastic ferrules. A quality cue can be expensive and may be made of exotic woods and other expensive materials which are artfully inlaid in decorative patterns. Many modern cues are also made, like golf clubs, with high-tech materials such as woven graphite. Recently, carbon fiber woven composites have been developed and utilized by top professional players and amateurs. Advantages include less flexibility and no worry of nicks, scratches, or damages to the cue. Skilled players may use more than one cue during a game, including a separate cue with a hard phenolic resin tip for the opening break shot, and another, shorter cue with a special tip for jump shots. The mechanical bridge, sometimes called a rake, crutch, bridge stick or simply bridge, and in the UK a rest, is used to extend a player's reach on a shot where the cue ball is too far away for normal hand bridging. It consists of a stick with a groove metal or plastic head which the cue slides on. Many amateurs refuse to use the mechanical bridge based on the perception that to do so is unmanly or cheating. However, many aficionados and most professionals employ the bridge whenever the intended shot so requires. Some players, especially current or former snooker players, use a screw on cue butt extension instead of or in addition to the mechanical bridge. Bridge head design is varied, and not all designs, are broadly tournament approved. In Italy, a longer, thicker cue is typically available for this kind of tricky shot. For snooker they are normally available in three forms, their use depending on how the player is hampered. The standard rest is a simple cross, the spider has a raised arch around 12 cm with three grooves to rest the cue in and for the most awkward of shots. 
The giraffe which has a raised arch much like the spider but with a slender arm reaching out around 15 cm with the groove. Billiard chalk is applied to the tip of the cue. Chalk is applied to the tip of the cue stick, ideally before every shot, to increase the tip's friction coefficient so that when it impacts the cue ball on a non-center hit, no miscue occurs. Chalk is an important element to make good shots in pool or snooker. Q-tip chalk is not actually the substance typically referred to as chalk, but any of several proprietary compounds, with a silicate base. It was around the time of the Industrial Revolution that newer compounds formed that provided better grip for the ball. This is when the English began to experiment with side spin or applying curl to the ball. This was shortly introduced to the American players and is how the term putting English on the ball came to be. Chalk may also refer to a cone of fine, white hand chalk, like talc it can be used to reduce friction between the cue and bridge hand during shooting, for a smoother stroke. Some brands of hand chalk actually are made of compressed talc. Many players prefer a slick pool glove over hand chalk. Or talc because of the messiness of these powders, buildup of particles on the cloth will affect ball behavior and necessitate more frequent cloth cleaning. Q-tip chalk is made by crushing silica and the abrasive substance corundum or aloxite, into a powder. It is combined with dye and a binder. Each manufacturer's brand has different qualities, which can significantly affect play. High humidity can also impair the effectiveness of chalk. Harder, drier compounds are generally considered superior by most players. There are two main varieties of billiard games, carom and pocket. The main carom billiards games are straight rail, walk line and three cushion billiards. All are played on a pocketless table with three balls, two cue balls and one object ball. In all, players shoot a cue ball so that it makes contact with the opponent's cue ball as well as the object ball. Others of multinational interest are four ball and five pins. The most globally popular of the large variety of pocket games are pool and snooker. A third, English billiards, has some features of carom billiards. English billiards used to be one of the two most competitive cue sports along with the carom game Bachline, at the turn of the 20th century and is still enjoyed today in Commonwealth countries. Another pocket game, Russian Pyramid and its variants like Kaisa are popular in the former Eastern Bloc. Straight rail in straight rail, a player scores a point and may continue shooting each time his cue ball makes contact with both other balls. Some of the best players of straight billiards develop the skill to gather the balls in a corner or along the same rail for the purpose of playing a series of nurse shots to score a seemingly limitless number of points. The first straight rail professional tournament was held in 1879 where Jacob Schaefer Sr scored 690 points in a single turn. With the balls repetitively hit and barely moving in endless nursing, there was little for the fans to watch. Bachline In light of these skill developments in straight rail, the game of Bachline soon developed to make it impossible for a player to keep the balls gathered in one part of the table for long, greatly limiting the effectiveness of nurse shots. A Bachline is a line parallel to one end of a billiards table. In the game of Bachline, the players have to drive at least one object ball past a balk line parallel to each rail after a specified number of points have been scored. Cushion billiards Another solution was to require a player's cue ball to make contact with the rail cushions in the process of contacting the other balls. This in turn saw the three cushion version emerge, where the cue ball must make three separate cushion contacts during a shot. This is difficult enough that even the best players can only manage to average one to two points per turn. This is sometimes described as hardest to learn and require most skill of all billiards. Man playing billiards with a cue and a woman with mace, from an illustration appearing in Michael Felon's 1859 book, The Game of Billiards. There are many variations of games played on a standard pool table. Popular pool games include 8-ball, 9-ball, straight pool and one pocket. Even within games types, there may be variations, and people may play recreationally using relaxed or local rules. A few of the more popular examples of pool games are given below. In 8-ball and 9-ball, the object is to sink object balls until one can legally pocket the winning eponymous money ball. Well known but waning in popularity is straight pool, in which players seek to continue sinking balls, rack after rack if they can, to reach a predetermined winning score. Related to 9-ball, another well-known game is rotation, where the lowest numbered object ball on the table must be struck first, although any object ball may be pocketed. Each pocketed ball is worth its number, and the player with the highest score at the end of the rack is the winner. Since there are only 120 points available, scoring 61 points leaves no opportunity for the opponent to catch up. In both one pocket and bank pool, the players must sink a set number of balls, respectively, 
all in a particular pocket, or all by bank shots. In snooker, players score points by alternately potting red balls and various special color balls. Two-player or team game speed pool speed pool is a standard billiards game where the balls must be pocketed in as little time as possible. Rules vary greatly from tournament to tournament. The International Speed Pool Challenge has been held annually since 2006. English billiards dating to approximately 1800, English billiards, called simply billiards in many former British colonies and in the UK where it originated, was originally called the winning and losing carambol game. Folding in the names of three predecessor games, the winning game, the losing game and the carambol game, that combined to form it. The game features both cannons and the pocketing of balls as objects of play. English billiards requires two cue balls and a red object ball. The object of the game is to score either a fixed number of points, or score the most points within a set time frame, determined at the start of the game. Points are awarded for, Snooker Snooker is a pocket billiards game originated by British officers stationed in India during the 19th century, based on earlier pool games such as Black Pool and Life Pool. The name of the game became generalized to also describe one of its prime strategies, to snooker the opposing player by causing that player to foul or leave an opening to be exploited. In the United Kingdom, snooker is by far the most popular cue sport at the competitive level, and major national pastime along with association football and cricket. It is played in many Commonwealth countries as well, and in areas of Asia, becoming increasingly popular in China in particular. Snooker is uncommon in North America, where pool games such as 8-ball and 9-ball dominate, and Latin America and continental Europe, where carom games dominate. The first World Snooker Championship was held in 1927, and it has been held annually since then with few exceptions. The World Professional Billiards and Snooker Association was established in 1968 to regulate the professional game, while the International Billiards and Snooker Federation regulates the amateur games. Target carom games pool games non-pool pocket games technically a form of pocket billiards, Snooker has its own worldwide sporting community separate from that of pool. These combine aspects of carom and pocket billiards, and are played on tables with pockets. These are variations using small discs instead of balls, and lightweight cue sticks. Outdoor games played on a lawn, field or court, played with varying equipment that may include hoops, pins, holes or other targets or obstacles, and clubs, curved head sticks, or mallets. Most such games are obsolete, aside from croquet. Golf and field hockey, as well as stick-less games such as bocce, bull and bowls, are historically related. These are developments from cue sports that dispense with the cues, and are played with the hands directly. Thanks for watching.